Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring my review of this week's episode of The Strain on FX, which just so happens to be the uh, second to last episode, or uh, you, know, you could say penultimate episode of the entire series. Um, just one episode left now. Uh, which is, uh, you know, the series finale is going to be called The Last Stand next week, I believe. Um, so, uh, yeah, it definitely feels... Uh, Exciting, you know, nerve wracking, and uh, you know, still sort of sad that uh, you know, show I've been following for a few, you know, good few years now is uh, coming to an end. Um, but uh, I do think it's the appropriate time. You know, I remember reading back in season one and two that they wanted to take the story for about uh, four to five seasons, so I think this lines up nicely. Feels natural in the story, and uh, you know, I think ever since uh, episodes like seven and eight, especially the season's taking a really strong and impactful turn um with what was known as that Satrakian, which i think was just a you know brilliant um at least as far as you know, like acting and you know, dialogue goes i thought all that was great and uh this episode was called uh, the traitor um you know definitely not you know like the you know those other episodes um but we see the return of zach you know to uh, the rest of the group and you know uh you know, this is kind of the episode where you, uh, you know, try to figure out, you know, once and for all whether why we don't like Zack so much is the writing, you know, just the character, or if it's uh, that Max Charles is really missing a step or two with his uh, acting ability. Um, you know, I still think it's a bit of both, but... <laughs> um, because he tries to present himself, you know, like he's escaped from the Master somehow after nine months and after... Uh, Satrakian fell, and, you know, just when they're getting the bomb into the city, he conveniently shows up, you know, and he's, uh, he wants to be with his dad again, right? <laughs> um, you know, and just the way, uh, the way Max Charles talks is, Zach, it's just really, really obvious that, you know, he's, uh, you know, just really robotic, and he really doesn't, uh, mean most of this, and sorry if my hair is kind of messy, I, I did just get, get out of bed, I'll admit. <laughs> Um, you know, in his talks with, uh, Ephraim, you know, about, uh, what happened to, uh, Kelly, and he's like, oh yeah, I didn't get it before, but I do now, Dad, I know why you killed her. You were right. It, it's, like, that kind of thing, and <laughs> if the Master expected Zach to be able to, you know, trick him like that, I don't know, or maybe Zach was supposed to seem like a better liar than that. And it's just, again, Max Charles and the way he acts. I don't know. Um, and there was, a good, there was a good moment with F, but then it was taken away by Zach talking again. <laughs> and that was when they were on the rooftop and uh, they were talking about, you know, looking at the, you know, wanting to look at the stars again. And F, you know, kind of brings up things in his life that he regrets. And Corey Stoll did a really good job in those couple seconds, but then Zach starts talking again. <laughs> um... But, you know, I still thought it was a fine episode. I just don't like Zack that much, and, you know, Max Charles has been kind of meh. Um, but, you know, we knew that this kind of thing had to, uh, you know, come up at some point before the end of the show, so... You know, I was glad that F, you know, they didn't have, like, F, like, blindly trust him or blindly want to believe in him. I like how skeptical they all were, as they easily should have been. And at least they didn't let him, like, sleep, like, in the outer area with all of them. At least they actually locked him in a room. <laughs> um, so that was good. Um, and of course, you know, there wasn't much else to this episode besides the Zack thing, you know, which is fine, you know, it has, a you know, one or two more big things that really wants to happen before it ends, you know, this one episode, so it's fine. Um, you know, we also had Gus and Roman, you know, talking, you know, trying to get to trust each other, which is fine. Um, I may do, like, a Death Predictions video, you know, for, uh, you know, the series finale before it airs, you know, we'll see. Um... But we can talk more about uh, Gus and Roman in that, maybe, I, I guess. Um, let's see. And then what Zach ends up doing is he ends up, you know, cutting himself um, on a can of soda on the rooftop so uh, Stagori can, you know, get his scent and figure out where, you know, they're keeping him at um, so they can track the rest of them down. Um, you know, which is, a, you know, I guess, a more subtle way than I thought Zach was going to go about, you know, doing whatever he is going to do. Um, and I did like that uh, call on what happened for you know to what happened pretty quickly you know saying how many cans of you know pop has he opened in his life and 
you know, then he connects the dots, you know, within probably quite a few, you know, just a few seconds, so. I like that. I also like the, uh, scenes between, uh, you know, Dutch and Fett. I did like, uh, Dutch and, uh, F together in that brief time in season three, you know, I just saw they kind of have, like, a good, you know, like, contrasting, you know, uh, back and forth and chemistry sort of thing. But I will admit that Fett and Dutch actually do kind of feel more right together, I think. And it's been nice to have those two share some, you know, uh, singular scenes together over the past couple episodes. Um, you know, Dutch, I'm, I'm worried about every character right now. Um, watch my video to get, like, more detailed, like, thoughts. But I think Fett will actually survive. Um... Dutch, I guess, could go either way, but I think she will survive. Um, Gus, I think, will go down fighting. Roman will do the same. Um, and then uh, Quinlan, he goes up, you know, through the Empire State Building himself, hoping to find the Master, but they don't, of course. Um, but the Master still promises a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, final fight between the two. I don't think Quinlan's going to survive, but I feel like he'll either have the Master pinned down when the bomb goes off or something and they both die together, or he'll just die knowing that the Master's screwed and he'll, be, he'll still be able to die happy, sort of. I think that's how it'll go for Quinlan. Anything else would just be a complete middle finger to the character and the story that we've been following with him. Um, as far as F and Zack, Zack's obviously going to die. Um, and F, I think his his act will be sort of that thing of self-sacrifice that's a tracking and brought up that had to be done maybe f will sacrifice himself and take zach with him to get it done or something perhaps i could easily see that that's what i've been thinking for f you know for quite a few seasons now um so yeah i think i think i'd be fine with that but i'm gonna do a separate video on this here just to do another video on the whole thing so um you know so i i did feel like tense when uh Quinlan went up there himself. I thought they were gonna like uh, pull the rug out from under us before the final episode and have Quinlan, you know, killed or like badly wounded there or something. But luckily they didn't. Surrounded by Strigori though, so the Master's playing it fair. You know, he wants Quinlan to fight through like a whole building of uh, you know Strigori, you know, before they get their one on one, you know, uh, back and forth. So yeah, the Master doesn't want Quinlan weaker or anything. You know, he wants a fair fight, right? <laughs> Um, but it should still definitely be a really a climactic uh, showdown for quite a few of them. Of course, the others on the street are surrounded now. Strigori running towards them from both uh, ends of it. Um, just like the <laughs> the most uh, like obvious cliffhanger they could have gone for for the final episode, all the main characters surrounded. <laughs> um, but still really cool. I did like this episode again. Doesn't compare to like the you know seven and eight or anything, but still fine. Um, I'd give it like an 8.8, 8.9 out of 10. I'm still really enjoying it. I, I wish they had aired the final two episodes at once, you know, back to back. That would have been cool. But yeah, still really looking forward to it. Sad to see it end, but excited as hell to see how it does. Um, so yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Um, we'll be doing a review of It. Um, you know, the It, you know, the film <laughs> that came out uh, probably within the next day or so. Uh, maybe by late tonight, I'm not sure. But yeah, catch you guys for that, and uh, peace.